What's up everybody? Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera Selamat datang sekali lagi ke channel aku Air of the Geeks And hari ni aku akan tunjuk korang Macam mana nak jadikan pendrive korang USB bootable Supaya korang boleh install korang punya Windows Gaming has never been more affordable with AVF And with their new AVF media box You can even enjoy 4K Ultra HD movies At only 259 ringgit Check the link in the description below to get your own AVF media box. Alright, so now kita dekat desktop kita, kita tengok uh, aku punya E2, pendrive tu dah cucuk, ada 30GB. It's preferable kalau at least dia 4GB, but at least 8GB lah, I would say. Eh. At least 8GB lah, because... Uh, it's just because. Lepas tu pergi ke my, download Microsoft 10, which is ada link dia dekat bawah tu, aku bagi link dia. Korang boleh follow that link. Lepas tu korang just tekan download to now. Pop. Oh, laju. <laughs> Lepas tu pergi ke Microsoft Media Creation tu. Getting a few things ready. Uh, accept. Uh, create installation media for another PC. Next. Lepas tu okay, language. Use the recommended settings for yeah Windows 10 edition and 64-bit. Ataupun korang boleh pilih. So the reason why ada option untuk Windows 10 saja sebab it's only Windows 10 saja yang supported sekarang. A lot of applications semua dah move ke Windows 10 and optimize for Windows 10. And a lot of bugs untuk Windows 10 pun actually dah fix. So there's no worry untuk korang nak guna ataupun even nak main game-game lama pun korang still boleh pakai lagi. Lepas tu next. And USB flash drive. Yup, pilih. Lepas tu tekan E because aku punya pendrive tadi dekat partition E. Lepas tu next. And wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Alright, I'm gonna speed this up. Wow, okay tu ambil masa yang lagi panjang sikit daripada yang aku expect Kalau cara lagi satu is download dia punya Windows punya file And then nak jadikan ISO file dia Lepas tu nak, nak guna uh, Windows uh, USB Maker USB tool tu pun sama juga lebih kurang sel selama dia But I think yang ni lagi senang is because dia terus direct ke pendrive And korang dah settle Lepas tu korang boleh guna pendrive korang Untuk jadikan dia punya USB bootable bila korang select dia punya pendrive Untuk install Windows nanti So kau tengok dekat aku punya USB ni Dah ada semua file dia Boot, EFI, sources, setup and everything And the total file size of everything is about 4 gigs. But aku cakap 4 gigs better 8 gigs lah Better 8 gigabytes lah Right guys that's it Thank you so much Terima kasih banyak sebab tengok daripada awal sampai ke habis Aku punya video ni And kalau korang belum subscribe Please consider subscribing kepada channel aku Sebab aku akan buat lagi tips-tips ni semua in the future And kalau korang suka video ni Like ataupun tak suka dislike Lepas tu share dekat member-member korang Supaya diorang pun dapat belajar untuk buat USB tool ni juga Sebab senang je hidup korang Dah tak payah pakai CD Siapa lagi pakai CD Aku pun tak tahu And yes sekali lagi tu saja Thank you so much and aku akan jumpa korang dalam video seterusnya. Probably English ataupun Malay. Air of the Geeks, baby. This video is brought to you by Lucro PC, your one-stop destination for the best computer parts in Malaysia. Check them out in the link in the description below. I got a condo in Manhattan. Baby girl, what's happening? You and your ass invited. So go and get to clapping. Go pop a phone, pop, pop a phone. Turn around and drop it for a plan